All right, YouTube, it's me, David Harry, your favorite YouTuber and vlogger. So in this video, I'm just going to briefly explain and give you a bit of an overview of what the differences are between firmware and software. And this is all obviously in relation to my ongoing displeasure of what's just happened with GoPro with the Hero 12 and the 11. Anywho, so what it is, software is something that most people are going to be very familiar with. So let me give you like a very simple example of this. Let's pretend that you've been using Microsoft Word, which is a piece of software. Doesn't matter what you're using it on, whether it be on Mac or PC, it's just a piece of software which is going to to allow you to do a specific task uh, in this instance write letters or whatever it is you do with word well let's just say at some point that uh, word didn't have a spell checker in it then one day microsoft come up and go oh we've got this really cool thing that we want to add to word and we're calling it a spell checker and basically it helps people spell correctly so then what they do they rewrite the software or basically add these extra features to the software and then they push out that software to people who've already got word well in that instance that is a software update so that's something that hopefully most people can kind of bend their heads around and kind of say well yeah i get that now firmware what is a firmware update again just in a very simplistic way what firmware is it's like software it is basically a bunch of code and stuff like that but it is more specific to do with hardware so as a for instance when you have a computer you have like multiple bits of hardware in a computer i mean you could argue you and say that these days th those like extra bits of hardware are getting less and less because we tend to have like one central unit normally a SOC system on chip which handles a lot of these things but nonetheless all of these separate elements do exist in some form inside a computer such as say for instance your USB controller let's see let's say your Ethernet controller and then obviously we've got the big things that most people obviously have heard of which are say your CPU your sensor processing unit and say your GPU your graphics processing unit well with all of these things they normally have a little bit of flexibility built into them so as a for instance something really simple like say your Ethernet controller now your Ethernet controller is something that you kind of plug a cat5 cable in then it allows your computer to communicate to other computers through a network whether that's to talk to another computer or whether it's to transfer data or whether it's to go on the internet this is what this controller thing does for your Ethernet well, with these Ethernet controllers that all systems have which communicate via Ethernet, they have a set of what we call protocols. Now, these protocols are very specific kind of communication languages which allow one device to safely and accurately talk to another device which uses the same protocol. Well, let's just say, for instance, and once again, somebody comes up with a really good idea to add, say, a new protocol which is going to be very beneficial to certain people on certain networks and stuff like that well all they have to do is roll out what is called the firmware update now that firmware update will then just go and talk to say the ethernet controller and it will basically just add to it new code via the firmware so a bit like software to add extra features but this is more specific to hardware then after that point that ethernet controller is then able to do other stuff that it didn't do before it was updated so with those two basic explanations of the difference between software and firmware hopefully that's given you a bit more of an idea as to like how to understand what these things really do now i do appreciate that what i've said there is very overly simplified however you know to go into any more detail about these things would require somebody with a lot more knowledge than me and i'm most certainly not going to start talking about things that i don't understand at a higher level and stuff like that or a deeper level anyways yeah hopefully this video has been a little bit useful to some people out there and so to anybody who has been watching my gopro videos yeah you know i think you can start maybe understanding why i keep getting so bent out of shape about what gopro have done between the hero 12 and the hero 11 because as you can probably understand now it is these software and firmware updates which really could have made 
the Hero 11, a Hero 12. Anywho, that's it for this video. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now. <laughs>